plans are from the same place as the uh, F-86, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, 3D lab print. 3D lab print. It's well over 100 hours to print. 100 hours, wow. Well over. Show me what the battery compartment's like on this. So, is this typically like a... Uh, Two, three cell batteries or something like that? Uh, this one's going to fly on 4S. Oh, okay. A 6200 milliamp hour 4S. And then I th think you could print one um, in power with a 6S battery to change the motors. So you've got uh, working doors on this one? Yeah, on this one, this is the second version they came out with, um, with the working bomb bay doors that are actuated by a couple different servos. So these these servo sockets here are all for the um, bomb bay? Well, these two are for elevators. This one's for oh, the nose wheel steering, and then oh, this wow. one is, these two on the sides are for the bomb bay doors. Ah, oh, I see, but, um, okay. If I go in, it's going to be hard to. So why don't we just do this the way they? Let's get some. Let's get some servos. Let's let's make this. Oh thing. yeah. Let's fire yeah. this thing up. Uh, hmm. Angle to the dangle there. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm surprised. I, you know, when I was looking at that in my head, I just could not get it to. Servo arm is stressed just a little bit when it's fully closed, but not very much. doable to me sir awesome didn't take too much sit do you want me to work it a little more work it do you like use your wheel as a, a indicator for how much to cut out of there or no I'm gonna what I'm gonna cut there's actually a faint line you can see a faint line in the print and I'm gonna cut it on that line and um, so we're going to cut this out for the got to keep it in there I don't realize it, but I'm coming, the handle of the weller is in contact here with the other. Oh, it's keeping me from pushing in a little bit.
basically like a big Chinese sweet girl at an angle. So this print took one hour and 35 minutes. Wow. Nice.